Hello, it's me, Ink Voice. Uh, hi, I'm Vichuba. Nice to meet you. Vichuba as in Vichu or in Tubo and uh, Nai. <laughs> okay, now. So today we're going to react to some spoilers of Tanja Adibur. If you haven't seen the anime, go watch it. Like, no joke. Watch it. It's a good anime. No joke. So it's, uh, it's this video, okay? I have been recommending this video. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I didn't have problems with me, Sisu, okay? So thanks for everyone for coming. So yeah, it's Sanya the Sky Demon. It's by DJ Chad Dachamp. CJ Dachamp. Dyslexia. Okay, so it's it's me, yeah. Uh, we're going to watch it. If you haven't seen the anime, go. No, it's your chance. Ready? Set? Let's go. <laughs> So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So <laughs> you at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? Yeah, it is. This is Tanya. Danja, Tanya does this thing. Tanya does that. Welcome to Loli Hitler. I mean, what? Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force activities because a new challenger has a <laughs> to be judged and to take their rightful seat at this sacred table of demons. And it's none other than this sweet, innocent look. No! Bro, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat this shit. The literal spawn of Satan taught you. <laughs> yes! Ain't no damn little girl. This yes! Is a demon child. A warmonger. A yes! Demon. This is pure evil, immortal form. Like, I think that's the video all the way back with like. Did he did no. Was that like a year ago? <laughs> Jesus. But y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. And it is finally time to observe the Isekai demon. So, without further ado, Exhibit A. Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I okay. now present to you Exhibit A The Origins of a Demon. So, we start off in 2013. Meet Tanya. I beg your pardon? <laughs> yeah. This Jeff Bezos ass businessman is Tanya. Yes. As we can see, bro, is laying off this guy right here. Bro said, listen, you ain't clocking in on time. You do subpar work and you lazy as hell. So you fired. Nigga. But bro's like, please, I have a family. But then he says, uh, is that supposed to be my problem? You see, if you wasn't doing some shitty ass work, you wouldn't be in this situation <laughs> right now. True. Get out of my face. Oh my God. So I mean, he. On, why I mean, just to be honest, it's not uh, the protagonist's fault that this guy gets fired because sometimes if he works at HR, he has been told to fire this guy. He's not the actual boss. He's someone who has been told to, you have to fire this person because he's not doing this, 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 and he is being stupid. Things like that. Don't take it on HR. Take it on the boss that told HR to fire you. While homie is at the train station, he ends up getting pushed into the tracks by the dude that got let off. And then he appeared once more. Din, din, din. Oh. <laughs> What's good with y'all niggas? Y'all never thought y'all would see me again, huh? <laughs> well, I'm back even better than ever. Look at me on the train. What, y'all thought y'all would never see me again after what my tattoo on my fingers did? After I squished that bitch and made her a can of spam? It's so satisfying to see a protagonist going squished and splattered on my windshield. You will be a fine addition to my collection. No, time to get some fun now. Yes, to say. More than this is that I am your god. You should have said, I am your god, Tanya. No, I don't believe in god. Fuck you. So homie ended up getting reincarnated into Tanya. And now bro really in the trenches. So yeah. Tanya had a plan. She said, I, I'll just join the military. So she ended up rising through the ranks pretty fast because she has the conscience of a 40-year-old man. So she ended up becoming a drill sergeant. So she like, I right, listen to f*** up. You listen to everything I say. If you disobey me, I will not hesitate to put my foot up your ass. If you disobey me again, I will put <laughs> a bullet in your motherfucking skull. Yes. Yeah. Um, question, can I go to the bathroom? Sure, you can go to the bathroom. You know what? You could do it right now for everybody to see. Oh, my God. So obviously, <laughs> yeah. they think a joke because they think that, oh, this is just a little girl. But dear God. 
on. No, no, no. <laughs> Later on in the day, an explosion ends up happening. And she blasted these niggas out of the classroom. So then she walks up and she's like, mm, mm, mm. Look at y'all on the ground, ass tooted up like a. <laughs> so then bro tried to get her, but then she just slapped him. Then she says, Didn't I tell you if you disobey me, I will put a bullet in your skull? Looks like your brains need to be rearranged. Because yeah. You know, hello, waters for shit. So then dog has to stop it. He's like, Hello, hello, chill. So after this, <laughs> they ended up sending her on this recon mission. So she ends up finding some enemies. So she calls an artillery strike on them. So while they're getting bombed, she's just watching them. And she's like, look at them running around like ants. Pathetic. They deserve to die. But while she's doing this, she ends up getting attacked. Yeah. So she's like, hey, cuz, I need reinforcements. But then they say, I'm oh, sorry, but uh, we ain't got no reinforcements right now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this happened. Bye. Hell no. <laughs> To die. They wanted her to she die. She starts losing it. She like, well, oh, fuck. Looks like we all pack watch tonight. So she blitzes them and starts <laughs> blasting. Oh my bah. god. She blew up his arms. But then she ends up running out of ammo. So she's like, huh. Looks like I have to improvise. Yes. Sucks, this nigga. Then she grabs homie from behind and she's like, do you want to go boom boom? Oh, shit. Mom, yes, I love this. This is, this is, this is oh, fucking amazing. And look at her fall, and she's like, <laughs> pussies. So after that shenanigan, she ended up getting an award, and now they done put her on the front lines. So she starts fighting this company right here, and she just starts going ballistic. So then yeah. she blisses these dudes and cuts Mom. Clean yes. With a this, this is fucking amazing. On her face. Ah. So then she flies all the way up and starts talking to him. Attention, you are on Imperial grounds. This is our land, so f off with that busted ass hockey puck on your head. So obviously they don't listen. So they just start shooting at her, but she just eats it. So she's like, ugh, so uncivilized. Well, time to pull out the aim lock. Yes. Incoming. Yeah, they, they fucked up. They completely fucked up in this part. <laughs> so after the shot, she's like, <coughs> God damn, your packs ain't hard as shit. Now, please yeah. surrender in. Uh, Lieutenant, I think they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. So no, after damn it. this, Tanya ended up having a run-in with these two soldiers. So these dudes end up trying to go take out the artillery, but that's not their orders. So Tanya's like, yo, the f*** y'all doing, man? That is not my orders. Get y'all asses back here. But they didn't listen and did it anyways. So later on, when they get back to camp, she calls them in and she says, all right, y'all niggas going home. You can't listen to orders. I ain't got no patience for somebody that can't do their job. But she is. Hell no, nah, I'm playing work. So then she just looks at him and says, so are you saying that you're disobeying me? So you're saying I should kill you niggas right here. But Victoria Because it's threesome. Her, so it's threesome. Fine. Let's be honest. If you did in the military, if you disobey your orders and you do something out of the order, and then don't apologize. It can be considered uh, that you are against authority, and then get get you get kicked out or get to jail or execution, depending on the country. So please, don't be stupid that these guys in the military or in the Sikai. But don't think y'all getting off light. So after huh. this, those two ended up getting stationed at the rear because Tanya yeah. sent them there. So some days end up passing. It so they end up getting a report saying that those two dudes, cursed and hauled, are dead. They ended up getting hit by a random shell. So Victoria goes and tells Tanya, yo, uh, cursed and hauled are dead. And she's like, yeah. Yeah. I know. So she's like, wait, 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 what? Then Tanya says, that pillbox is very exposed and is an easy target for artillery fire, don't you think? So then she really <gasps> oh, oh see, see you, right? To die? Yes. <laughs> she was a smart. <laughs> no, bro. She sent them to their death because she knew that place was going to get attacked. She said, I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, no. 
No. <laughs> I can honest a guy in this trial right here just off of that. But this is just the beginning. It gets ten times worse. Oh yeah, see it really. Exhibit A and it's time to move on to. Exhibit B. Give it to me. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B. War crime. War so crimes. Ends up getting permission from the generals to have a special battalion all to herself. So they give her a month to train them. So at the training ground, she ends up blowing up the entire place. So she's like, wake up, bitches. It's time for target practice. But not for y'all, for me. So hope y'all can survive for 36 hours. So she ends up shooting up a bunch of duds. But then one ends up blowing up. So she's like, oh, I forgot. I accidentally added some live shells in there too. So uh, good luck. So this ends up going for 36 hours. A yeah. Whole day and a half. So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? So yes. So them track all the way through the freezing cold and through enemy territory to the new camp. So then they also ended up getting hit by an avalanche. So she's just standing over him like, wow, y'all some bum. So Bro right here is knocked out. So she flies over to him and kicks the <laughs> shit out of him. Then she just picks up dude right here and she's like, God damn y'all sorry as shit. So about oh. a month later, their training arc finally completes. And look at her, she's like, Ugh, I wish some of y'all died. But oh well, congratulations. You are no longer bitches. So let's go catch some bodies. So they Wait, you're not longer bitches. You're now my bitches. To be said. Fight in this one country called Docky. So while they lighten them up, Tanya's <laughs> looking down on them like, wow, they are pathetic. What are they doing? The f are they? The British in the Revolutionary War? They're lighting up in a lie. No, they're the French. So later on, they end up finding their base. So she lands and she's like, greetings. Welcome to the fatherland. What is the purpose of your visit? Do you have your visas? Because if not, we're going to have to deport your asses. Body bags included. So they start shooting at her and she says, oh, no, no visas. Kill them. Kill them now. So then after this, she's like, all right, y'all want to have some fun? Let's go to their capital and blow that sky high. So that night, yeah. they end up pulling up to their capital. So they end up giving Tanya the megaphone, and she's like, <clears throat> Hello. Greetings, everybody. It is my job to inform you that we are going to blow your shit sky f***ing high. This is your only warning. All right, kill them niggas. So they end up just blowing up the place. Good God. But to be honest, she did this divide problems with the international community. She was smart. This, this, Tanya did this like, hi. This is Tanya, the good at job. Yeah, uh, we're going to blow you sick down. Yeah, um, evacuate or die. And they're like, huh, it's a fucking cat. Who's going to think this is going to be fine? Blow them. That's all you have to do. It's, 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 it's the best way. See, now it's how you. The rules is that if you're going to blow up a capital or something in a capital or in a city, important city that there are innocent around, you have to inform. First. They didn't say how. So after this, they end up having another battle. So in this one, she said, just so y'all know, I cancel reinforcements. I need to know if y'all got that dog in y'all. So then these bombers end up pulling up. She's like, ah, yes, time for some action. So then she ends up jumping on the plane. Then she says, greetings and goodbye. I'm going to just leave this right here if y'all don't mind. Oh, shit. Boom. So then the other planes start retreating. So she's like, where do y'all think y'all going? Allow me to show you the latest and greatest aimbot installed by German super science. So she shoots it and oh my god, that is the most broken ass sh I have ever seen. Nah, yeah. the aimbot is out of control. That rivals Roberta's. Instead of phase, nah, I'm taking us for a throwback. I'm it's all your... So then she goes it's, 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 it's all your ultimate. Right? Time stops and you know who starts speaking to her again. Yeah, what's good, little nigga? To do what I sent you to, send your ass back to one war one so you can dig yourself out the trenches. Literally, that's why I sent your ass to trench warfare, nigga. But then she is uh. shooting him. She's like, dog, I ain't got time for your bamboozled ass shenanigans today. So then, about a minute later, she finds this cabin. So then she says, Bum. Oh my God. 
instead of in stationary in a whack ass wooden building. So then after this, Tanya ends up committing one of the most awful war crimes ever. So a resistance was forming in the Republic territory that they took over. So Tanya's yeah. crew pulls up and they try to ambush them, but this did not go well at all because she ended up bodying them. So after they crush this entire resistance, she ends up telling them, yo, all y'all better surrender now. But obviously they don't. So this one Imperial guy ended up running out, but they ended up shooting. But Tanya was recording the entire time, just waiting for them to slip up and take the bait. So that gave her the permission to wipe out the entire town. So she ordered an artillery strike on the entire place and just because in the war crimes, uh, technically it will be a war crime, but since the civilians formed an armed resistance and actually offended and murdered a member of another opposing, you know, military uh, uh, group, this in the laws in that time made the the country be able to slaughter all those who are in front of that resistance you can easily blow that that she actually found a way to get away from war crimes Destroyed legally speaking it's still a war crime everything was just she fucking amazing so hours later after the barrage <laughs> finally ends they end up getting orders to take out the remaining majors but the thing is the mages are by a bunch of civilians trying to evacuate so tanya's like hmm I don't care, an order's in order. So bro right here comes in and he tries to stop her. He's like, yo, this is just morally wrong. This is terrible. But she's nah. like, an enemy is an enemy. Look at all them civilians right there. You think that some of them ain't gonna turn into soldiers one day? Oh, buddy, you best believe they are. Woman, yeah. kid, it don't matter. So then she smacks homie and puts him on the ground. But then she puts the My pussy. on the ground and she says, so what's it gonna be? You or them? You can follow waters, can't you? So do it! Come on, busy! And let's just say, that was a very dark day. So yeah, that was Exhibit B, and it is finally time for our final exhibit. Exhibit C. Oh, more! There's more! What the right, fuck? Oh, all right, sorry. We finally reached our final exhibit. Exhibit C. Tearing apart a family. Meet oh, Kamazu. yeah. A colonel from the U.S. The second, uh, the second plot. Arkansas. So his daughter ends up giving him this gun. And this is very important. So later on, they end up having this battle with Tanya. And Tanya and them f***ing them up. I ain't gonna lie. Colonel yeah, Cruz's see. Forces are dropping like flies. So then he sees Tanya and he starts having PTSD. He's like, wait a minute. I remember you. You're that little girl that took out my whole squad that one day. Swear to God, I'm gonna kill your ass. So he is a Russian, -er, but she just stabs the life out of this man. So she looks at him and she's like, wait a minute, haven't I seen you before? Well, uh, it really don't matter. <laughs> You're a side character. I'll be taking that. Bye. Game. So she kills him and leaves him for dead. Or so we thought, because bro was still alive. He somehow tanked it. He tanked it with the power of God. So about a week later, while they on another mission, bro comes back. And look at him, he's dripped out with an eye patch now. So he start going crazy. He got the trench gun and everything. Bro is not playing games. So when he ends up getting close, she kicks a gun out of his hand and pulls out the attack knife. So she stabs him and she's like, yeah. How you like that, big boy? But bro ate the knife and he's about to explode himself. But the little old duckling ended up coming and saving him. So then she pulls out his gun and she's like, Bye. motherfucker. So she ended up dumping the whole mag in his <laughs> Him bro had no choice, so he just blew himself up after that. Look at a coffin. <coughs> Pack watch, nigga. Rip, bozo, you won't be missed. Appreciate the new gun. So after she offed him, his daughter, the person that gave him that gun, Mary Sue, ended up enlisting to avenge her father. And dear God, her name is Mary, Mary Sue, Sue for a reason. Because she is a literal Mary Sue. She is broken. She's got the power of Jesus and Tanya's power on crack. So Tanya gets yeah. to <laughs> this country that's basically Russia in their world. So she gives him the mission briefing. So Victoria asks her, yo, are we permitted to defend ourselves or what? And she says, they're communist. 
blow the shit out of him. Yeah. <laughs> they get to Moscow, and she's like, all right, y'all know what to do. Like this bitch up. So they just start wreaking havoc and blowing up everything. Then she saw this statue and said, hmm, I don't like that shit. Tear that shit down. Right. After they destroyed the place. She's like, ah, oh, that looks way much better. I should invest in real estate here now. So then after <laughs> this, they do one of the most absolutely disrespectful things I've ever seen. They plant their flag on their capital and starts to sing their national anthem while shooting a music video. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, bro. But they did this fucking promotion to say, oh, yeah, we fucking wrecked Russia. Fuck y'all. See, we are here. Who in their right mind would think of this? This is a hostile takeover on another level. She disrespecting them in their hood. So they ain't here yeah. no Mary Sue coconut head ass. So Tanya says, my God, you are a bother. Here, eat my empty mag. So then she gut checks her. And then Mary Sue's like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Isn't this the gun that I bought my dad? Yes. No, nah, this was the bitch that killed my dad. So then Tanya just starts lighting her up with her own gun that she bought her dad. And she put her ass out of commission. So then a couple days pass out another battle and Mary ends up pulling up again. So they start fighting. So Mary's like, you stupid little nigga, you killed my papa. And Tanya's like, uh, do you think I care? Not my problem, bitch. So Tanya ends up just straight up nuking. <laughs> so she goes down to see if she's still alive. And she starts walking out that hole like the Terminator. She said, bitch, you best know I'm from Arkansas. The f I'm a Razorback, nigga. So she's fucking oh. Tanya and sends her into the spin cycle. Then she's looking at her like, I waited for this day so goddamn long. So she just starts beating her. Mickey, monkey, get your ass up, girl. So then after she finishes beating the life out of Tanya, she starts looking at this angel and she's like, oh, yeah, oh. she's gone. But Tanya ends up throwing a knife in her. So she tries to attack her, but she pops her. And then she said, you uncivilized animal. Tell your daddy I said hello. Yeah. Oh, oh it's a beautiful plane. This, this, wait. This is simulated that the wings are from her, by the way. It's creme de la creme. She is just different. The dad and the daughter? Yes. <laughs> Demon. But right before she's about to finish her off, homeboy ended up coming in and saving her. Ooh, she got lucky. And look at her. She's like, damn. Should have domed her ass. <laughs> All right, I've seen enough. Sit down. This is just demonic. The war crimes committed. Killing your own men. Literally yeah. traumatizing Mary Sue, as well as killing her father with a gun that she gave him, as well as cussing out God on multiple occasions? This is truly the spawn <laughs> of Satan. Nah, it's not. Another episode down. So, uh, hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure you follow your boy on IG and Twitter. Sub to the second channel. And... I mean, she's not evil. She's not the devil. The devil. It's actually the whole series is not about her being a demon. The thing about her is that see it's always opposing god god is trying to make tanya say that god says and has to pray to god and tanya is like yeah no bitch i am powerful enough i can do this myself fuck god i can be my own god fuck you and god is like okay and let me send you my jesus so i can give, bring the power of angels something like that so they can fucking wreck you and she's like nah bitch there is no God. God is me and all my people, I say. Not you. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. I'm out of here. Like, no joke. Uh, I'm gonna subscribe. Oh my God. Uh, that's the thing. Tanya, <laughs> it's fucking amazing. To be honest, uh, I recommend the anime so much in a way that actually I have people who actually love uh, like war anime military stuff they like i have a friend who actually owns uh you know he owns uh like a whole thing about world war ii it's not world war one bitch it's world war ii because you know america's involved and things like that it's world war ii because they actually have tactics of world war ii even uh you know they can actually find some things that actually are correct of what happened 
And they didn't tell you that the fucking countries are about to just render because of Tanya. And Tanya was like, no, you have to nuke them. And the leaders were like, no, 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 nuke, no. We're going to win. You're actually winning. Why do we need to destroy them? Next episode. Oh, yeah. Because God made them not surrender. Yeah, you're going to fight forever. This is going to be World War Two. You cannot, like, Tanya was right. Tanya knew what to do. Just the other people were stupid. Like, it's like being an officer in World War Two, and you is a guy back to the past. Like, you actually know how history goes. You go back to the past. I know how everything is going to happen, so you know what errors not to make. And Tanya does that. That Tanya is like, oh yeah, don't do this, bitch. Hey, 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 Lieutenant, don't do this fucking thing. Do something better. Like, I don't know. Fucking never let them surrender because they're not going to surrender. And like, no, they're going to surrender. Yeah, no. To be honest, like what they did, what she did about in Moscow, it was actually a, a way to promote that the country and the military was more powerful than the other ones so they will send a message it's not disrespect it's more like sending a message oh yeah we can freely do this do you really think you're can over handle with us yeah go to hell we're going to do this in every single t town if you don't surrender that's the message and actually is a way that they did in the former days when movies and things like that they started to be existing when recording such as this it's like they record those things to use it later for promotional to join the army you're going to have so much fun defending your country and showing everyone that you are in the right that's what happens and to be honest this is happy for me i love tanya so much so really really thanks for making me watch this video so like, subscribe and everything like that. Uh, the really my content. So bye. Adiosito. Take care. Ciao, ciao.